Tegethof Agra's farmland is located to the northwest of Halle an der Saar in Germany. Despite its size, Tegethof Agra is still a true family business with a history of entrepreneurial success. For this multi-part series of short films here on our YouTube channel, we're following the farm's team from sowing through to harvest. When we first come to film them at the end of March, the farming year is already picking up speed. The mild winter and sunny March are causing a spurt in vegetation. Tegethof Agra grows around 10 different cash crops, including wheat, barley, canola and sugar beet as their main crops. The seedbed preparation for these four crops is already complete and now they're being sown. The tractor working on this field is a Fent 1050 Vario. At 517 horsepower, it's the most powerful standard tractor on the market. The farm runs two of these XXL tractors, but this one is only used for tillage work. The other 1050 has narrower tires and is used for logistics during harvesting. This 12.4 meter wide seedbed combination by Danish manufacturer Dalbo weighs 13 tons. They're working at a shallow depth here, but the level board in particular is set quite aggressively and takes some real power. The aim is to prepare the soil for sugar beet by leveling it out, creating a fine tilth and thoroughly reconsolidating it. Team member Uwe has worked in farming since before the fall of the Berlin Wall and has been employed by Tegethoff for the last five years. In terms of field work, he mainly takes care of tillage. Before we take a look at the farm and its premises in more detail, let's follow Fabian Tegethoff to his task for the day. The field he's working on today is situated a few kilometers to the west of the farm premises, close to the Saal Valley, near Wetten. Immediately after last year's barley harvest, Around 150 millimeters of heavy rain fell within a few hours, making large parts of this field impassable with the tractor. Growing canola on here in late summer last year was unthinkable. It wasn't even possible to cultivate it again or sow it with a cover crop. To get the heavy regrowth back under control and at least sow the field with maize for silage, they gave the field a dose of total herbicide a few days ago. They very rarely use weed control products on this farm, but in this case, it did the job. Fabian and his brother Philip are happy with the results produced by the all-rounder flatline. Next, they plan to finish off preparing the field for sowing using the Dalbo seedbed combination. At 9 meters, the all-rounder flatline is currently the widest implement in this series. With the flatline, Westphalian manufacturer Kirkeling is following the trend towards more mechanical weed control. If required, the machine can work a little deeper, as you can see here. But its speciality is to work in ultra-shallow, broad-scale sections. It primarily targets root-propagated weeds and resistant grass weeds. On this farm, the all-rounder flatline helps them to manage without virtually any glyphosphates on their conventionally farmed fields, while still achieving good field hygiene prior to sowing. The 9-metre width helps to ensure they have enough power to get the job done virtually always on time. 
As the product name, All Round, suggests, the 6-bar cultivator is an extremely widely used machine. In 2021, its first year of service, the tillage implement clocked up around 4,000 hectares, including stubble cultivation, during the summer. Because it produced such good results, it's significantly gaining in popularity in 2022. Fabian is studying agriculture and recently submitted his bachelor thesis. Just like his older brother, Philip, the 22-year-old has studied agriculture from the ground up. We're following Philip now to Letovitz, to Tegethoff Agrar's machinery and administration base. His father, Burkhardt, has built up the business. A state-certified farmer, he comes from a family with over 200 years of farming history. The family originates from an arable farm situated between Kassel and Paderborn in North Rhine-Westphalia, which today encompasses 200 hectares. After the fall of the Berlin Wall, Burkhard Tegethoff ventured into Saxony-Anhalt as well. In 1991, he rented around 300 hectares from multiple individual owners and a former estate farm in Gimritz. With a lot of commitment and perseverance, he whipped both the land and buildings into shape and renovated the historical estate buildings. His youngest son Fabian will take over the farm in North Rhine-Westphalia at some point. Philip is in the process of finishing up his master's degree in agronomy. He's lived on this farm for many years and has his sights set on managing it in future. Tegethoff Agrar has grown rapidly, especially over the past few years. The farm business currently farms 3,350 hectares across all its sites. Aside from a few items, they use all their own machinery. Five full-time employees and two apprentices make up the team working on the fields. One person works in the office and Philip and his father manage the business. Depending on the season, the 24-year-old works either in the office or on the fields. Today, they're also planning to spread some fertilizer on the spring Durham wheat. For the past three years, they have carried out all their field work piece by piece, section specifically. The usable field capacity is stored onto yield potential maps in a 20 by 20 meter grid. Soil samples and yield measurements also provide key information. On the field, the agricultural machines can use this information to vary the seed rate, for example, or adjust the intensity of plant protection and fertilization activities based on requirements. This protects resources on all levels. This fertilizer spreader is another high-tech machine that utilizes the data from the field catalog to its full potential out in the field. Radar sensors enable the transverse distribution of the spreading pattern to be constantly monitored. It's also mounted with a wind gauge. If the spreading pattern is compromised by side winds, the system attempts to realign itself by altering the spreader disk speed and point of application of the fertilizer. Philip spent a lot of time studying farm technology as part of his bachelor thesis. Along with part with section control and application maps, the tools help to ensure that only as much fertilizer as is necessary lands in the exact spot where it is needed by the crop. Sugar beet is grown on 420 hectares at Tegethoff Agrar, which takes up a large proportion of their land. Crop production manager Christian is busy sowing. They bought this new precision drill from Kavernaland for the 2022 season. Its unique feature is hidden in the detail and goes by the name of Geo Seed. It deposits the seed in a diamond pattern. 
This means the plants grow in gaps, which leads to optimum utilization of the growing space. The sugar beet plants have access to more light, water and nutrients. The team expects to see yet another benefit in a few weeks when they go over the field with a row crop cultivator to combat weeds and seed beet. The aim of this technique is to further reduce plant protection measures and benefit from improved nutrient availability in the soil. In the next episode of this video series, we visit Tegethoff Agra once again in the summer and in autumn. Our plan is to introduce you to the business and its activities in more detail and show you as much as possible of the two new 1050 Varios they've ordered and another new 900 on their first assignments. For more information on the farm business, feel free to visit their website or follow the family on Instagram.